First, the top news headlines. House makes obituary references to departed members. MP Laysemba Sanajabha for declaration of Kangla as World Heritage Site. CPI says governor's address in house needs relook. And anti coup protests on streets of Myanmar's second city. Very good evening and welcome to Times of Manipur. This is Suraj Khongban Tabang giving you the news. As a responsible citizen, it is our duty to minimize the spread of coronavirus as much as possible. Wash your hands frequently with soap for at least 20 seconds. Using an alcohol-based sanitizer also helps keep the virus at bay. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Avoid stepping out unless absolutely necessary. Always wear a mask before stepping out and even in your own home in the presence of outsiders as masks have been proven effective in containing the virus. Maintain a social distance of at least 2 meters in public places. Now the news in detail. On the second day of the 12th session of 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly, the motion of thanks on Governor's address was moved by Moirang Constituency MLAP Sarat Chandra and seconded by Konthozam Constituency MLA S. Ranjan in the House. In the morning session, the House made obituary references. Chief Minister N. Biren, who is the House leader, Opposition leader O. Ibobi, Moirang Constituency MLAP Sarat Chandra, Thanga Constituency MLAT Robindro, Thangmaiban Constituency MLA Joy Kisan, Uripo Constituency MLA Y. Joy Kumar, Bisnupur Constituency MLA Govindas Konthausam, Kundragpam Constituency MLA Lokeshore, Kaisamthong Constituency MLA L. Jayant Kumar, and Speaker Y. Kem Chan paid tribute to former Governor of Manipur led Aswani Kumar. Former MLA of 10 Uripa constituency led Lysram Nandakumar Singh. Former MLA of 28 Thanga constituency Salam Jayantakumar. Former MLA of 27 Moirang constituency led Muhammad Hesamuddin. And former MLA of 12 Kaisamthong constituency led L. Ibom Cha Singh. The House members also observed a two minute silence as a mark of respect to the led leaders. Later, Moirang constituency MLAP Sarat Chandra gave update on the development works undertaken by the BJP-led government. Sarat Chandra added that the BJP-led government had faced a lot of challenges but could overcome obstacles. The MLA mentioned about the preventive measures taken up by the government to prevent COVID in the state. The budget estimates 2021-2022 will be tabled tomorrow, followed by general discussion on the budget estimated on February 6th. The demands of nearly 50 different departments of the state government will be discussed in the following sittings as per the provisional calendar of the sitting of the assembly. Rajya Sabha MP Maharaj Laysemba Sanajawe has made a special mention on Kangla in the parliament. He urged the house to declare Kangla as one of the world heritage sites. He met the clarion call during the seventh day of the budget session of parliament today. The MP from Manipur in the upper house said that the sacred Kangla is the ancient palace of the then kingdom of Manipur. He also said that before the British conquered Manipur on April 27, 1891, more than 70 kings ruled at the Kangla for a long time. However, important records at Kangla were destroyed after the Anglo-Manipuri War of 1891, he mentioned. 
Laisemba Sanaja Obo also mentioned that the game polo was originated from Manipur and British during the time used to call the game as hockey on horseback. Later, the then Viceroy of India, Lord Curzon, called name it Cradle of Polo. He also said that the oldest polo ground in the world is located inside the Kangla. Manipur State Council CPI today said that Manipur Governor Dr. Najma Haptula's address in the Assembly yesterday citing various developmental activities taken up by Chief Minister and Birin led government needs relook. CPI said the state has been facing a series of issues. CPI Manipur State Council Assistant Secretary M. Joy Kumar Luang in a press release expressed dissatisfaction over the way the government is handling the COVID-19 situation in Manipur. He said the government has failed to build a COVID-19 dedicated hospital despite its promise. He questioned the help provided by the government to financially backward population of Manipur amid the pandemic. CPI also rejected the governor's address claiming improvement of law and order situation in Manipur and said theft and robbery cases are taking place even in the heart of Imphal city and that there are reports that armed persons are collecting money from travelers along the national highways. A group of protesters web banners and chanted anti-coup slogans in Myanmar's second city of Mandalay today in the first such street protest against this week's army takeover, a media report said. Video on social media showed around 20 people outside Mandalay Medical University. One banner read, people protest against military coup. Our arrested leaders released now, released now the protesters chanted. Myanmar's army seized power on February 1st, overthrowing popular elected leader Aung San Suu Kyi, who is detained and now faces possible charges for import infringements over the alleged possession of six unauthorized walkie-talkies. Myanmar's new military government has blocked access to Facebook as resistance to Monday's coup surge amid calls for civil disobedience to protest the ousting of the elected civilian government and its leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Facebook is especially popular in Myanmar and the ousted, ousted government had commonly made public announcements on the social media site. As per media reports, internet users said the disruption began late last night and mobile service provider Telenor Myanmar confirmed in a statement that mobile operators and internet service providers in Myanmar had received a directive from the communications ministry to temporarily block Facebook. Telenor Myanmar, which is part of the Norwegian Telenor group, said it would comply though was concerned the order was a breach of human rights. Well, it's time for a short commercial break. Do stay tuned. Jackson Biu, Jackson Biu, Jackson Biu. Sam Junba, Bhut Pred, Jadu Mantar Gimaramda, Kang Hairaba, Gyan Lairaba, Guru Ali Shah Bangali, Guru Ali Shah Bangali. Bidya Kya Gimaramda, Kang Hairaba, Umapan Gimanunda, Fan Mamba Guarantee Card, Pipagalina, Jinna Haibadanatana, Tabak the Nakba, Tabakasi Faldi, Ahan Munumitagi Fanglagan, Tabak in Kang, Karbargi Samasha, Yum the Kana Chainaba, Mantra Jantra Sam Junba, Nupi Lonba, Lonabadi Nakok Naba, Yet Nabadi Nakok Naba, Love Marius Amazon. Erens Meres ki samasya, inkhol gi, lam gi khatnaba, yetnaba, imung gi dosa, awa ana taba, paisa lan mang tharakpa, hengalak taba, asigumbo sing asigi damak una biyu, samasya sing adu gi upay tau duna fahal lagane, garanti ka loyna na. Specialist Black Art Masmerism, yum da fam na fam na, layna layna, samasya sing asig kok biyu. Una biyu, Guru Ali Shah Bangale, Bridge Cinema, Ludhiana, mobile number 89231430711. Seventh Heaven. A slice of happiness. India's largest bakery chain. Now at Porompat Soibam Lekai and Kaisampat Konzeng Hazari Lekai. Person Pure Veg Bakery which provide fresh cake in just 7 minutes. Cakes of all designs, shapes and sizes available at reasonable and affordable price. Half kg cakes starts at rupees 310 only. Home delivery also available. To order and for more details, please contact for Porompat 9366-818-369 and for Kaisampat some part 79886624132 Welcome to our career launcher a coaching institute for HSLC NEET 11 and 12 standard 
We are introducing our new HSLC crash course for a duration of six weeks, commencing from 9th January, where we will be providing live online classes, doubt clearing sessions, analysis of previous year questions, and online evaluation. For more details, scan a QR code. You can also visit our website www.aurakareerlauncher.com for registration. You can also download our app Aura EduPad or contact us to WhatsApp number 600906362 or 600913970. We have started with our registration. So, what are you waiting for? Join now. Iram damasi dasu ano boy na world class machine si zina duna. 20 steps refining eye testing the facility fanghanjari leo lamlong excellency opticals khurai lamlong bazar tinshit road imphal east adong gi damakta khudong saba si pijari adong gi mit lemna test taujari amasung adong gi chanaba chunaba lensing amadi frame singda chada kunfau gi discount pijari leo Lamlong Excellency Opticals Khurai Lamlong Bazaar Tin Chit Road Imphal East Welcome back after the break A 4 year old girl was allegedly raped by a 51 year old man in Thawal district Our correspondent reports the incident took place on January 31st last and the man allegedly involved in the incident has been identified as Muhammad Fayazuddin, son of Lad Tamiz Ali of Sangayumpam Path to Langkhong Path under Thawbal Police Station. Thawbal Police arrested Muhammad Fayazuddin on February 1st in connection with the case and produced before the concerned court. Muhammad Fayazuddin was remanded to police custody for five days. Meanwhile, the victim was also produced before the Child Welfare Committee Thobal chairperson and necessary medical test was conducted on the minor before being handed over to her family. Residents of Sangai Umpam Path to Langkong Path have demanded stringent punishment to Muhammad Fayazuddin under Pokshow Act 2012. The residents have also decided to form a joint action committee JAC to seek justice for the victim. On the other hand, All Manipur Muslim Students Organization AMSO has condemned the incident and assured to extend support to the JSA. Other social organizations of Sangai Yumpam Path to Langkong Path, namely United Development Committee, Social Development Organization and Local Youth Welfare Organization have also announced to support the JSA in the protest. Midday Mill Workers Union has demanded timely payment of honorarium and honorarium hike of midday mill workers in the state. The honorarium of a midday mill worker is only rupees 1000 per month and they get honorarium for 10 months in a year and for the year 2020 the honorarium was given only up to the month of May. Union President Y Indrani told a press meet at Iravad Bhavan complex Imphal. She said despite repeated call the government has done nothing till that. Lambda Masigi Nupisin Mini, Yangwana, Haujeraga Masama Susemi Beni, Onerem Hengapio, Aduga Matam Jana, Center de Gitariba, Onemse, Kusumanji Pitok Piu, Aduga Hariba Cook Singjisu, Akogi Manipur, Imagi Masang, Akteni Hadana, Handana Kanbirega, Amutang Nusibu, Sanbiu, Hengalan Biu, Apabalambi, Pinabiu, Hawa Pamzo, Akoi Mediagi Kutang, the Akoi Nasi Press, Miss Mapamsi, the Pang Tok Seven. Apunba Auto Drivers and Honors Welfare Association Thawal District has drawn the attention of the government and civil society organizations of Manipur towards the price hike of essential commodities. The association organized a meeting today at Thawal Bazaar to discuss price hike and fair hike. Speaking to media persons, Association President Ningthausam Jiban said it was impossible to continue the fair of pre-COVID-19 pandemic period. He said drivers pay around Rs 150 every day for various taxes like passenger tax, pollution tax, fitness tax, permit tax, token tax, driving tax, toll tax and parking tax. An auto driver earns Rs 400 to 500 daily. Jiban mentioned that every auto charges half fare for students. He called upon the Manipur government to fix a reasonable auto fare. The association also urged the government to web taxes for the lockdown period, besides stopping checking done by MBI and traffic police till March 31st. <laughs> Pernah mangi memandu lepio, aduh rapot memandu macam ni, boh mena atau bah 
As part of the initiative by Hyrock Block Youth Congress Committee, HBYCC to provide home to the underprivileged under leap and let leap HBYCC present Tokchom Ranjan Singh today handed over a newly constructed house to Tokchom Ningo Lystrom Ongbi Manglembi Devi of Hyrock Part 3 Lamlong Mari Phangba. Manglembi's husband Lystrom Gambhir recently suffered from BP stroke. Speaking at the event, HBYCC Secretary Maibam Tomtin said that the committee built the house taking into account the condition of the family and their house. Honor of the house, Manglembi Devi expressed gratitude towards Moirangthem Okendro for the generosity. Notably, HBYCC builds such houses in just a span of one day. Guinness World Record has presented a recognition certificate to Assem Kennedy, founder principal of the Imphal Public High Secondary School, Kanchipur. The recognition has been given to Kennedy for his dedication and excellence in the field of education. Kennedy has provided free education to many students like victims of fake encounter and children of HIV positive parents. He is also a recipient of National Education Icon Award 2019. Old Manipur Sound Service Association AMSA today celebrated its 20th Foundation Day at Wabagai in Kaksing District. Our correspondent reports AMSA has been celebrating the day at different venues every year and this year the celebration was held at the residence of Association member M. Ibo Pisak located at Wabagai Thingelikai. Wabugai Kaira Gram Panchayat, Jilla Parishad member Mayang Bam Jaintakumar, AMSA Vice President Oinam Nilo, Wabugai Kaira Gram Panchayat Pradhan Yumnam Hem Chandra and Upa Pradhan Kaisam Prem Chan attended the celebration as main guest. The attendees during the program paid floral tribute to the departed members of AMSA besides reading out the yearly report of the association and welcoming new members. All Manipur District COVID contractual health workers today stormed the Health Directorate Office at Lumfail today demanding revocation of the termination order of contractual COVID health workers in 16 districts of the state. The health workers were hired for three months but later extended to six months owing to the pandemic. However, the contract was terminated without paying four months salary. Meanwhile, COVID-19 multitasking staff staged sit-in protests at Lumfield Health Directorate today. The MTS demands clearance of four-month salaries and service extension. A newly built church of Mantak Baptist Church was inaugurated today during a function organized by Dedication and Celebration Committee Mantak Baptist Church. The church was constructed under Comrem Baptist Churches Association KRBC Manipur. KRBC Executive Secretary Reverend L. Solomon, Assembly President L. Boylan, Reverend S. Sanglen and Pastor were present during the program. Church Construction Committee Secretary S. Steon said that preparations were met for the construction of the church in 1996 and the construction work began in 2012. He added the church was built at a cost of Rs 2.5 crore. The villagers solely sponsored the church construction, he added. <laughs> Aduna Sunday putting a coin offering Lupa Tarakun Tarakun Kaigat Naba. Ada Digi Low Karu Uzaba, Adigi Tolo Saba Mayam and the Magit Ham again from people on top of Pihalapa, Low Uba Kanguna Magit Ham, and let's say here Magi income the Digi Tobot Sam and Lower the Pobotarase, building the Matine had in a Shmina Kaidu Naraga, Sahi Kaya Hibatare, Shmina Kaigat Naragata Wuni. 
NSS NCC Youth Red Cross Unit and IQAC of Lilong Hauribi College in collaboration with District Level Committee on Nasha Mukta Bharat Campaign Thobal jointly organized an ex tempore speech competition on drug abuse today at the Multipurpose Hall of the College. Thaubal Jila Parishad Adakshya Hasina Begum and Principal of the College Dr. Rehizuddin Sek presided the event. Nasha Mukbharat Campaign Committee Thaubal member Yumnam Lakshman Singh gave awareness on drug abuse at the event. While District Secretary Indian Red Cross Society Thaubal District Secretary K. Sadananda talked on the role of youth in tackling drug abuse, later prizes were distributed to the winners of the ex temple speech. After the competition, Principal Dr. Rehesuddin Sek announced the college as drug-free institute. Let's take another short commercial break. Stay tuned. Guardians Academy, Imphal. Admission open. Coaching for NDA written exam course starting from 1st February to 31st March 2021. Timing 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. daily. Coaching for clearing SSB interview to join Indian Army, Navy, Air Force and Coast Guard as men and women officers. Course starting from 1st February to 10th February 2021. Timing 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. daily. For more more details, please contact Guardians Academy Imphal. Contact number 0986338639 or 0943689439. Tom Cable ki subscriber sing the Kangan Jari Madudi subscriber sing na channel suna amadi ayat apan yau dani yengbi na ba recharge tobiyo. Pizza riba package sing the basic package ta lupa chani amadi. Atopa Packet Singh Da Lupa Chahum Yangkhai Chamri Amadi Chamri Yangkhai Pijari Recharge Taunu Bagi Damak Makhada Pijari Ba Khutang Ahum Asidagi Khan Biyo Ahan Bada Online Recharge Online Da Recharge Taunu Bagi Damak TomTV.co.in Da Chambi Duna Yam Na Lai Ba Process Da Recharge Ta Wiyo Ani Subada Distributor Recharge Isa Isa Ki Distributor Singh Da Monthly Subscription Summit Ta Wiyo Recharge Ta Wiyo Natra Ga Ahum Subada Office Recharge Uripo Kosnam Rekai Daleba, Tom TV Office, the Lakduna, Recharge to View. Kangan Jariba, Tom Cable, Uripo Kosnam Rekai Infall. Ekoye contact number 89742790999, Natraga, 81320897585. Nongin Institute of Tutorials Key, Class 10, Amasung Chual Key Revision Class, Lakliba February 3, Amadi, CVA Sigina February 11, the Gi Hojaragani. Class 9 Amasung 10 ge Special Foundation Course Mars 4 Dagi Hojaragani. Bet Amada Mahiroi 30 Dagi Henalo Jaroi. Jadi Material P Bagaloina na Hostel Amasung Transportation Gi Kudong Jabasu Lazari. Nasimak Admission Tobiu Nongin Institute of Tutorials RDS High School Konungama. Contact number I 014221074. Tom TV Music Video Album Competition. Chali ba chahi isi ke manung ganambi ba hiram am hekta da yumpham oidun assembly ba music video album sing atho ehen changdam na ba ama Tom TV na Film Forum Manipur ka kusam na duna panthok chergani. Best Music Video Album da Lopal Singh yang kahi mana amadi atay mana kya su thamzari ba changdam na ba sida saruk ya biningba sing na video album sing thazin birak na ba akupamural gidamak office matam da 9774078983 da pau pobi o. Kangan Jari Bhatt, Tom TV, Times of Manipur. Welcome back. Manipur's first community FM radio channel, Diamond Radio Khongzom, observed its fourth listeners meet today. The event was held at Channels Complex. Bhartiya Janta Party 31 Thobal Mandal today convened a Mandal executive meeting at the office of BJP Thobal Mandal. BJP Thabal District President Kumar Jit Yumnam, BJP Thabal District General Secretary N. Opendro, BJP Manipur Pradesh State Executive Member Laitan Them Basanta Bhim, BJP Thabal Mandal in charge Mohammad Nazir Khan, Mandal President K. H. Manglem, Thabal Municipal Council Vice Chairperson Thabal A. K. Sana Tomba and Councillor W. Ibo Choba, both Presidents and Mandal Office Bearers were present at the meet. The central government has given focused attention on promoting higher education in the northeastern region, Union Donor Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh told Lok Sabha yesterday. According to reports, Donor Minister Singh said it 
North East state has one central university with Manipur having three and Assam having two. The Union Education Ministry has set up three Indian Institutes of Information Technology IIITs in public-private partnership IPPP mode in the northeastern region in addition to the already existing centrally funded higher educational institutions. There are 11 central universities, 8 national institutes of technology and ITs, Indian Institute of Management Shillong, Indian Institute of Technology IIT Guwahati, Northeastern Institute of Science and Technology Nerist Arunachal Pradesh and Central Institute of Technology Kokrajhar, he informed. Also, there are two central institutes of hotel management CIHM run by the Union Tourism Ministry in Guwahati and in Shillong which are offering hospitality courses. As per Northeastern Council NEC General Guidelines 2020, promotion of Northeast region is one of the focus sectors. The Union Culture Ministry, in order to protect and promote the rich and diverse traditions and culture of the Northeast region, has set up Northeast Zone Cultural Center NEJCC at Dimapur and Eastern Zone Cultural Center EJCC at Kolkata. Let's now have the sports news. In sports today, Manipur backed the best of team and best award at All Style Martial Arts Championship organized by International Martial Arts Research Institute Malaysia. All Style Martial Arts Association of Manipur felicitated the players, coaches and jury who took part in the championship today at tennis complex in Singzamai Chingamathak. A new playground of Makom Part 2 Malangbut was inaugurated, where a sports meet kicked off today on the theme Unity and Prosperity, intending candidate for the upcoming ADC election. Gailin Pao Gonmei unveiled a monument stone and opened the sports meet. Secretary Malcolm Thaubai Customary Court Gaunchalung Gangmei also attended the event. Gailan Pao Gonmei appealed to the villagers to cooperate with the national projects and express gratitude to the railway officials for the railway construction work. Gangmei further said that good health comes through games and sports. Traditional dance by Mokom Women Society Dance Troupe and songs by Jalengrong artists were the main highlights of the event. The final match of the 6th Kayamudian Memorial Open State Label Football Tournament organized by All Round Development Organization ARDO at Kairao Makting Sabalekai ground from March 2, 2020 will take place on February 20th. A press release from ARDO Publicity Secretary informed that the tournament has been postponed due to COVID-19 pandemic. Liberal Youth Club Kairao Litan and Family FC Kairao Menjor Inkhol will lock horns in the final match. It also informed that this 7th Kayamudin Memorial Open State Level Football Tournament will also begin on February 20th. The Twilang Sports Meet concluded yesterday at Chalwa Village of Kangpopi District. The tournament was organized by Cookie Students Organization KSO Twilang Block Kangpopi District. Galnel Village defeated Lothang Village Football in the final match. A total of 36 teams participated in the tournament. Chairman of Cookie Chief Association, Tuilang Area, Mangsat Silo, President of Cookie NP, Tuilang Block, Kamlal Kibgen, Chief of Chalwa Village, Thangkholal Haukip, and President of KSO, Tuilang Block, Inok Kibgen, attended the prize distribution ceremony. Before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top news headlines once again. House makes obituary references to departed members. MP Laysem Basana Jabba for declaration of Kangla as World Heritage Site. CPI says governor's address in house needs relook. And 
anti-coup protests on streets of Myanmar's second city. Well, that's all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur and good night. Tom